my name is Tina Solak. Um, I'm the owner of the Refill Market in Haddon Township. And um, I have, you know, uh, I guess the initial question was, how did I get started? Um, what made my journey from environmentalist to a uh, small business owner? And it's really um, uh, kind of grew up uh, very environmentally aware. My parents were always um, very environmentally, maybe ahead of their time for the 70s and 80s. Um, so uh, it was always kind of like, every, everything environmentally related to, you know, littering and I don't know, everything. Pollution always bothered me as I was growing up. And then um, I guess as a, what got me into the business end of things was I really, I started, I saw, I read about um, a refill store up in Maplewood, New Jersey called Good Bottle. And um, I think at the time we had um, bombs around to refill things, but this was kind of like um, a, really mind-blowing for me the the amount of things that you could refill at a refill store so um i really started because i really just wanted a place to <laughs> a place to shop for myself um and so i started looking into it the pandemic hit and things kind of um got put on hold a little bit and everything slowed down but um i kept going and i don't know here we are so and it's been three years uh, i just passed my three-year um mm -hmm. mark um so Hooray! Everyone's uh, wonderful. Yeah, everyone's loving it. So it's. Um, I can. I think I can show you. I'm. I'm here at my store. I would love to show people around for for people who don't know what a refill store is. Um, let me see if I can do this. Maybe I can't. Um, okay. So I'll just try and go this way. Um, I most of what I do is I sell soap in bulk, and um, you can bring in your own container to fill. Like it should be clean and dry, but um, you can fill up on. I have hand soap, dish soap, laundry detergent. Um, over here I have all kinds of personal care products, shampoo, uh, body lotion. Um, I have cleaning products for household cleaners. I have powdered laundry detergent. I have, uh, you name it, I, I try and get it in bulk so you don't have to buy a new plastic bottle at the store every time you run out of something that you use on a daily basis. Um, the other half of what I do is I sell, um, uh, more sustainable alternatives to single-use products that you find in your house, um, mostly in your kitchen and in your bathroom, is where you produce a lot of waste. So um, alternatives to plastic sponges, um, you know, food storage solutions that are uh, plastic-free. And then here I have um, all kinds of personal care products that are, you know, solid shampoos. Um, I have a local soap maker. So, um, you know, and all-natural deodorants, um, that kind of thing. And then I guess the last thing that I thought I would tell you about is um, I do take a whole bunch of recycling that are hard to recycle um, products uh, or hard to recycle items, you know, Brita water filters. These are all TerraCycle programs that you are welcome to come in and um, drop off with me. Um, you know, toothbrushes and toothpaste containers. If you have little people in your life, I take squeeze snack pouches and drink pouches crayons, razors, all kinds of things. Um, and I, that's the kind of the rundown for my shop. Everything is focused on um, reducing um, single use plastics. And um, I guess that it was a good segue. I told Sean I was gonna um, do a plug for Beyond Plastics New Jersey, which I am um, involved with. We are uh, looking for members if you'd like to join in the um, the fight against single-use plastics. We uh, would love to have you. We meet once a month also. And I know I saw Lois Krause is on here. She's one of the co-founders of the Beyond Plastics New Jersey um, chapter. So um, yeah, if you can reach out to her or to me and we would love to have you join our, our mission. That's um, fantastic. Thank you so much. What, I have a question. What are some of your best sellers there at your shop? Oh, okay. So for um, refillable items, um, hand soap, dish soap, and laundry detergent are the big three sellers. And um, we are, um, yeah, so I have, a, and I have a few different options for, for those like with powder and uh, like a laundry concentrate and um, just regular liquid laundry detergent. Those, those three things are, because I think that those are things that people use on a regular basis and, um, you know, go through a lot of so that's a really, if you can um, cut that one plastic bottle out of your life, <laughs> that 
you know, for just one product, it makes a huge difference, I think. Right, right, absolutely. <laughs> so um, we have a, a question. How difficult was it for you, for your bank to understand your vision uh, for a sustainable retail store? For my what to understand? For your bank? Oh, bank. Um, I am fortunate enough I did not have to um, uh, take out any loans or anything to start this business. So um, I don't have an answer for that, for that question. Okay. But um, but I will say um, that we need more of these shops. I feel mm -hmm. like um, every neighborhood should have, like you, I, I do have some customers who drive half an hour to get to me and they'll come once a month and they'll bring all their containers and they'll fill up on everything, but nobody should have to drive half an hour to, yeah. to um, be able to shop this way. And so I, I do feel like, um, you know, and I've, I've helped other, I've had people reach out to me online and ask if um, for, just for advice or for, you know, where did you get this soap? I, I want to open one of these stores. I am always happy to, to um, talk to anyone, tell them my story and, and share information. I mean, as long as it's not, you know, don't open across the street for me. But um, <laughs> right, right, right. But, uh, but you know, I'm always happy to help other because I, I really do believe that you know these stores need to be everywhere. Right, right. Um, yeah. Does anyone have any questions for you? I'll ask you a question. Hey, <laughs> Tina. This is Hi. Patrick from Sustainable Monroe Township. I really appreciate you giving us a tour of your store. It looks awesome. I thank have you. not been able to stop in myself yet, but I'm surely going to add that to my list. So thanks. Um, but I, I was curious about your location. So you're right in between Collingswood and Haddon Township, uh, two towns, of course, that are you know known as very sustainable communities. And I wondered, did that uh, play some part in your choosing your location to open? Uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm actually right in between Haddonfield and Collingswood. Um, and I, it was again, during the pandemic, there weren't uh, like a whole bunch of places to choose from. So it was kind of a little bit driven by that where I ended up. Um, I do like my neighborhood. Um, I would love to live, I would love to move my store to Collingswood because <laughs> just because there's a lot more foot traffic there, but, um, but yeah, I think uh, it was definitely a factor. Um, kind of the, uh, when I did some market research, just, you know, who would my customers be? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Con Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions, Regina? Hi, this is Isla. I actually um have a comment if I could and maybe a little plug. Um I love visiting um Tina's store and I love using these little um all purpose home cleaner tablets. <laughs> um all you have to they look like this. Well, if I can, they little and there's three that come in a box. All you have to do is have a squirt bottle and add. Let me see. I think it's 16 mm -hmm. ounces of of water, and they're and they're perfect. So just a shout out for those. I love. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Dina. This has been great. We're all gonna stop by the store. Um, congratulations. Please keep up the good work. Thank you uh, so much.